so we'll first switch on and then we'll start with pairing so here goes the auto connection setup i suppose so far i'm seeing all other languages except the english let's wait for it searching for your remote try placing the remote close to the amazon basically and press the home button on the remote button so we'll place it nearby press the home button press it for 10 seconds okay press the play button to start okay here we go english searching for networks okay let me do the wi-fi so the wi-fi is just done connection is successful checking for updates so it downloads the latest software this should take a couple of minutes i will pause the video here and get back once it's done so the download is almost complete now waiting for the next event of action so it's switching off probably restarting now it's installing the installation took pretty long time now I believe it's restarting again yes more than 15 minutes for sure so there is a new screen this time on my Amazon TV I see here Amazon written instead but here I see fire TV stick that's the difference so now the next screen it shows optimizing storage and applications one more time a long process so the installation is now almost complete it said 10 minutes but i would say this took close to 20 minutes or more than 15 minutes once again pretty long time scanning for networks which is already connected should not have a problem checking for updates once again which should not proceed now because the update has been already made oh no now it's downloading the latest software so the next step is you have to just sign into your Amazon account or else you can create one here most people would I think have an account already once I give my account password it's now registering my TV successfully registered fire stick so this is the screen that pops up whether you enable parental setup or when you buy some movie um, on demand so I would recommend to have a pin setup at least for this purpose because it once happened to me accidentally that a buoy was bought by my family and then I had to call the Amazon tell them what happened while it was an accidental purchase they were kind enough to refund it back and they told me how to avoid this in future so if not parental control at least you can put up an um, pin for buying the stuff but if you are a prime member you don't need to worry it's already free was the remote setup so this is what it says it will be playing music to make sure there is enough volume So you'll have to just adjust the volume once it is done then it sets up your remote it asks for a prime account or to open a free prime account but i did ignored it and now it just allows you to select your streaming services it basically gives you an option of popular services then tv services and then the sports and fitness and finally the featured services 
so i have selected a couple of them so far but if you want later you can always go to your apps and install them again so this is how the home screen looks the one step i would definitely recommend is going to your uh, settings recommendation i would uh, give us go to preferences and uh, here you have all your preferential mm -hmm. control the parental controls is like an entry point that's got nothing to do with it if you switch it off everything disappears so let's say if i try to switch off the parental control so everything disappears so you need to definitely switch it on to see what preferences you can enter below. and within the parental controls this is the one which i would definitely recommend pin protect purchases so if any of your family member does accidentally purchase something which i was talking before this would protect them by asking them to enter the pin which you can keep it for yourself and uh, viewing restrictions is up to you and uh, pin protect app launches if you keep this on then any app that you launch it will keep on asking for the pin like if you open netflix enter the pin if you open youtube enter the pin so this would be annoying so i would say switch it off pin protect uh, amazon photos app so this is specifically for the photos so if you don't keep your photos on amazon fire stick uh, which is a very small space i would say just 5 gb so it's of no use so you can switch it off that and this is the last option change pin which you don't need so that's it guys enjoy i'm not dependent on my tv remote anymore switch off and switch on using my amazon remote and then it directly comes to my hdmi connection and to the amazon fire stick so i'm still only using one single remote you don't need to shuffle between couple of remotes here